Hey guys, it's Christy. I'm here with the next installment in my Loads of Love Valentine card series for 2014. I just used this stamp set a little while ago and I still had it laying out on my desk and I had the scraps left over from the card that I made. This was the card that I made um, using these same papers and stamps and I thought I'd go ahead and make another one while I was at it because um, I had another idea. So the paper is from the Simple Stories Vintage Bliss collection. That is the last sheet in there. That was just the last scrap of it. And then the yellow polka dot is from the My Mind's Eye Lost and Found collection. And then this is the um, Just Say Cheese stamp set from Newton's Nook. So to begin, I've gone ahead and stamped out a couple of my images on some Inka Dinka Doo masking paper because I want to layer these images. I'm just going to go ahead and start. I'm going to begin with the Gouda because that's going to be my top slice. And I'm going to stamp that one in some Memento Rhubarb Stock ink. I know that it's not a perfect match for the paper, but Gouda does have that red rind and uh, that's the closest color that I have that isn't going to smear with some uh, coloring with my Spectrum Noirs. So I'm going to ink that up really good and I'm just going to go ahead and place that somewhere where I'm guessing the top of the heap will be. Okay. Now I'm just going to pull off the mask. Okay, and I'll get that centered right over top. Okay, the next slice is going to be the wheel of cheese. I'm guessing it's like a cheddar. And now I'm going to use some Memento Tuxedo Black. Okay, now I will take the mask for that one. And I'll get that lined up. Okay. Then I will take the Swiss cheese. Kind of get that one center down there. And then I'm going to take the cheese grater image. And I'm just going to stick that off to the side over here. Okay. Now I can go ahead and peel these masks off. And I will save these. I don't. Um, like to throw them away because you know you can reuse them. I just keep them in the packaging with my stamp set. Now I'm going to take the little mouse image and I'll ink him up. And the reason I didn't keep the masks on while I was adding him is because I want his little tail to uh, get onto the cheese like that. And lastly, I'm just going to take sentiment. It says, you're great. And I'll add that right down there. Okay, now I'm going to uh, speed up the video and do some quick coloring. <laughs>
that's looking. I'm going to take the Mon Fawn Stitch Journaling Tags die and I'm going to run that through my cuddle bug and I'll be right back to show you the next part of the card. Okay, there's my finished piece. I went ahead and die cut that and then I just went around the edge with a CG1 marker and then I went over the stitch lines with a BT1 marker just to give like a little border. So now we can continue on with the card. I'm going to take my Scotch ATG and I'm just going to go ahead and adhere this down to our card front which is a piece of Spectrum Noir Ultra Smooth Premium White cardstock folded to a standard five and a half by four and a quarter card and then folded in half to make a top folding card. Let's go ahead and get that on. We'll take our little strip here. And I'm just going to use my grid lines to get that straight. flip it over and trim off the excess. Okay, I've got a little bit of May Arts twine here and I'm just going to wrap around that gold band and we can tie that into a little bow. Go ahead and trim off the ends. Okay. Now I'm going to take some dimensional adhesive and just adhere that to the back of our panel. And we'll just get that centered there. Okay, I've got some sequins here from Pretty Pink Posh that I've kind of arranged onto the card and I'm just going to take some glossy accents to adhere those down. And that's our card for today. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.